Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel and to another day in my life, or should I say a night in my life? That's right, tonight I am gonna be taking you guys to work and we are gonna work this crazy ass Friday night together. And I'm telling you guys, this night was busy and then it was slow and then it went back to psycho busy. Stay tuned, watch this crazy ride, and let's go. First up, we got our feature cocktail of the night. Those were the honey apple margaritas. This right here is Yanni. He is the bartender from the other side and he is coming to help me out because this night, I sure as hell am gonna need it. This cocktail I am making right here became famous from being on the show Sex in the City. They drank a ton of these and made them extremely popular. Right here, I am making up a Cosmo. Okay, this next is our famous mocktail. It takes a quarter ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of simple syrup. You wanna muddle some basil, give it a nice strong muddle to get all of the basil flavor out. Two ounces of pineapple juice. You're gonna to wanna to give it a good hard shake, break up those pieces of basil. Nice. Then we are gonna to wanna to strain it into a glass of your choice. Give it some ice. Top it up with a little bit of soda, a little garnish, and there you have the pineapple paradise. All right, we have come in the cooler for some white wine. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen it this fully stocked up ever. Nice. Okay, well, I need some house white, so we'll get a couple bottles. Also, oh my God, it feels so good in here. Oh, yes. It's getting hot outside, you guys, and I have allergies really bad. All right, let's get out of here. Right here, I got some honey syrup. This stuff is so good for summer cocktails. Yeah, little glass of bubbly on a summer day. Prosecco, baby. Right here is my most famous bourbon cocktail. It takes two ounces of Woodford bourbon, half an ounce of apple juice, half an ounce of honey syrup. You're gonna wanna start giving it a really good stir. Add some raisin bitters. Stir it up a little more. Strain it into a rocks glass with a large ice cube. Give it a cinnamon stick garnish. And this is Grandma's Finest. This is one of the best summer cocktails you can make. It takes one and a half ounces of Melfi Gin, 0.7 ounce of plum wine, 0.75 ounce of Yuzu. We are gonna take a quarter ounce of Campari. Fill a large wine glass with ice and top it up with Prosecco. This is the Seaside Rendezvous. Okay. 
Okay, sometimes during the really busy time, I have to do this and it's really risky. Okay. Okay, oh my God. Oh, oh, yes, your boy has got some skills. Let me tell you, during this time, it was really, really busy. So you gotta pull out some tricks and you gotta execute it correctly. Yes, look at these cocktails, baby. It just makes me want to drink right now. Right here, I got a bill with four different cocktails on it. I am going to show you guys what I got. Let's make these up and let's make them with speed. This next is a really good tequila cocktail. It takes half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of agave nectar, one ounce of Casamigos tequila, one ounce of Mezcal tequila, 0.75 of Aperol. Then you're gonna wanna give it a really good shake. Then strain right into your rocks glasses. And that is the Smoke Me Up Scotty. Those look dynamite. So as you can see here, we are getting really, really busy. It's about 7 p.m., so dinner rush is getting off to a good start. Let's go. This right here is a little pina colada spritz. So good. cocktails right here are very boozy, very fruity, and very tasty. I absolutely love them. These are the Calendar Girl. Couple tequila cocktails? Yes. Please. Yo guys, we are just in the liquor room right now. The night has been really, really, really busy though, which is great. Um, I'm just like sweating my ass off like usual. 
ton of cocktails. Some of the bills have had like five or six cocktails at the same time. <sighs> Crazy Friday night shit. So anyways, I gotta get some more booze. So let's get that and let's get back to work. This cocktail here that I am making up was for a guest. She said, just go crazy, make me something fun. So I have this really good orange, basil, gin, elderflower cocktail. It's dynamite. Does not have a name, but it should. These are two of our most popular cocktails where I work, the Cherry Mule and the Paradise City. We sell dozens sometimes over the weekend. Really, really good cocktails. Working in a bar like this is quite fun. It can be really challenging at times though, when you're mixing, you're shaking, you're running around, getting food for people. It's crazy, but it always is testing my limits and myself to what I can do and to become a better bartender and mixologist and continue to put out this content for you guys. I have to tell you, I am enjoying it so much to share my experiences with the world and for upcoming bartenders or people that just like to watch the bartender content. I am having a blast and so much fun doing this. So keep enjoying. We are now coming up to last call. It is time for me to close up this bar, clean up, and get ready to go. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch another episode and another bar vlog. A night in my life. And this is truly what it is like on a Friday night every week, almost. Except this one was the craziest I have ever worked. And I am so happy I got to vlog it for you guys. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.